Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, today we're making stuffed pork chops and what I did was I cooked some soft stove top um, chicken stuffing. You could choose which, whichever flavor you want. They have different flavors. They have pork and I think beef and turkey. And I just chose the chicken. So what I did was I didn't, I wanted to cut down the salt. So what I did was I made the um, stuffing already and I added two slices of um, additional slices of toasted bread um, just to cut down the salt and one small diced potato okay and if you want to add anything else to it you can add whatever you want vegetables carrots whatever celery whatever you want to add into it um, to dilute this for me I just wanted to dilute the salt um, so what I did was I took the pork chops, I have six of them here, they're center cut, and I cut a pocket into each of them. So I did those. Let me just do this one just to show you. You just have to be very careful with your knife. And you're gonna cut a small little, and then right in the middle of the pork chop. Okay halfway down the thickness of your pork chop. All right, let's move these to the side. Okay, you can go in there, you're gonna move your knife in there very, very carefully. And this might even be better to do when the pork chops are a little bit frozen. Okay, and it'll be less of a chance of, you know, hurting yourself or getting cut or the knife moving, you know, against you the wrong way, or you getting your hand in the way, or your, or your fingers. Okay, so. And I'm going to turn this one this way. And I'm trying to cut away from myself. Okay, but then this one I'm going to have to cut a little bit this way. Okay, and try to, oh, this one went all the way through, so, okay. Try to cut as close as you can to the end of the pork chop. When you get your knife in there. Okay, and this is what we have. All right, these are the others. And let me make sure you can see that. All right, then you're gonna take your stuffing. Okay, and you're gonna just, with a spoon, or, or you can use your hands, it doesn't matter. Okay, as long as your hands are clean, all you have to do is clean your hands. Okay, I have a large, let me see, I thought that was a regular stem. Okay. This is what you do. This one, I messed it up a little bit. And I didn't cut the pocket as neat as I wanted to, but it's fine. Okay, there you go. Okay, and that's one stuffed pork chop. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, we're gonna stuff another one. Okay, this one is gonna come out a little bit better because most of the stuffing should go in here in the pocket. If you're not gonna make a lot of pork chops, you know, I've got six medium-sized center cut ones, then um, you won't need all of that stuffing, the whole box. So just try to make about half of the box. Okay, I hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you for coming in. And if you're new, welcome. You've been here before. Welcome back. Glad to have you. 
and um, if you haven't subscribed already, please just takes a second. It only takes just a second to subscribe, nothing more. Just a friendly reminder. I know when I'm watching videos, sometimes I forget to subscribe. So just a friendly reminder, just hit the button. One second and you're subscribed. Any, and if I post any other videos, you'll get the notification. Okay, then we're gonna put that in our pan. Okay, and then we're going to continue stuffing them. And then I'll show you on um, the next step when we come back. Okay, so we're done stuffing our pork chops. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add them into this pan. But first I want to add some garlic. Like some garlic that I crushed there. So what we're going to do with our pork chops is we're going to first sear them. Until they're brown on both sides. Okay, then after that, we're going to finish them off in the oven just to make sure they get cooked all the way through. Okay, so I think these are ready to be turned. Let's see. Very main um, stuffed pork chops. Let me know. Let me know also what you use and if you make them differently. I'd like to know. Just um, write it down in the comments for me. And if this is your first time, I'd like to know also if you, you're going to try these. I'd like to know that too. That would be interesting. And also let me know how they came out. I would like to know. All right. So we turn them over. Before I turn them over, I just um, sprinkled a little bit of um, sasson. That's a song adobo on them. Okay just for a little bit more flavor. Okay, so now we're gonna let them brown on that side too. And when they're done, we might, um, instead of putting them directly into the oven, we might, uh, Pour some uh, water in here, or if you want to pour some um, chicken stock or beef stock, whatever you have, you can do that also. And um, let them cook a little bit further, or we might put them directly into the oven. We'll see when I come back. Okay, so I decided to add a little bit of um, water. with the pork chops and um, so that they can cook a little bit further in the pan and then it'll be less time in the oven. If you notice that some of this stuffing is coming out, the pork chops, just try to just push it back in with the spatula and a spoon. Okay. All right, we're going to turn those over in a few minutes if we can. If we can't, 
we just put them in the oven to uh, let them finish cooking. Okay, so we've um, let the um, pork chops cook so far on both sides. So now we're gonna take them and we're gonna put them in the um, pan. Okay. Turn our oven on to 375. Okay, and we're going to let that um, preheat. Once we put them in the oven, we're going to let them cook for about half an hour. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you can see a little bit. All right, I'll just push this up. Okay. Okay, if you're still with me and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Okay, it only takes a second to do so. Just a friendly reminder. Like that, you'll get notification of every video that I post. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of the um, stuffing that fell out. We'll just take it, okay, we'll just line it in the pan. Maybe we'll put some of it all right, on top of the pork chops. Okay, there we go. Just to keep the pork chops moist. So we've got some stuffing left from when we were stuffing the um, pork chops. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rest of it that's left. Okay. And we're also going to put them, you could put them on the pork chops, you could put them in between the pork chops. Whichever way you want to do it. I'm going to put mine in between the pork chops. Okay, so that we use up the rest of our stuffing. Okay, the foil that was in here where it had the raw pork chops, don't worry, I removed it and I put in a clean foil underneath. So that's a, this is a clean foil. All right, any liquid you have over, if you want to pour it over the pork chops, that's fine. Okay, 
This would help keep the pork chops um, nice and moist when they're in the oven. Okay, and we're also going to take these pork chops and we're going to cover them with foil. So this is going to go in the oven for half an hour. Okay, this is just to make sure they cook all the way through. Okay, so our pork chops are done. I just took them out of the oven. Okay, so let's see how they turned out. Okay, they turned out pretty good. They look good. Yep. All right. So I also made some rice here. And this is um, some yellow rice that I made with um, Vienna sausages in it. You can see that in there. All right, and I have a recipe coming up for this. All right, so let's taste our pork chops, our stuffed pork chops. Okay, let's see, let's taste this one. Well, this one doesn't have so much stuffing in it. All right, that's fine. Okay. And let's take a little bit of rice. I don't know if you can see the Viennas in there. All I did was slice up some of the Vienna sausages that come in a small can. And I added it to the rice um, right before the rice cooked. Okay, so let's see if we can cut into this. Okay, guys, I'm not sure if you can see. Let me check. All right. Just cut this down a little. Okay, and then cut a piece out. Okay. And I'm going to taste some with the stuffing. It's really hot, so I'm going to have to blow on this. Mm-hmm. I was worried about the salt content because of the stuffing. Um, but it actually is pretty good. Not salty at all. And the pork chops are nice and tender. You can taste the seasoning from the um the stuffing. Mmm, very good. Thumbs up. I encourage you guys to make this, and if you do, please let me know how it came out. 
All right, and thanks for visiting.